Hi, I'm going to show you a look inside this little Bible and I'm also going to show you what this reading plan or challenge is all about. This is my summer reading plan and I am just really excited about it. My name is Judith Coles and I'm here on YouTube in Grace Journaling with Coffee and as usual I have some here but it's not coffee, it's tea. So whatever you drink, just join me and we'll have a nice time for about five or 10 minutes this morning. So our afternoon, evening, whatever it is for you. And so this is much more colorful um, when you print it on a color printer. It's really turned out so pretty. I am so happy with it. And I just hope it really blesses you. This is the cover page. I love butterflies and I love flowers and it's a 30 days of prayerfulness now i also wrote on my blog about prayerlessness because prayerfulness is what we need to do when we um don't pray as much as we want to and you know even if you pray a lot it's never never enough and always always we need to be learning more about how to really abide in Christ and continually pray like it says in the Bible and if you want to read some of my blog posts I have several um, on it and hopefully today I'm going to be organizing them where they're easy to find so this 30 days of prayerfulness it's a Bible Bible re reading challenge and it includes a scripture printable and a journaling page and it's by me and I, I think I said I blogged over, I blog over at hisunmeasuredgrace.com. And that's where I encourage women to embrace grace and perfection and draw closer so that they can draw closer to Jesus because Christ is sufficient. So this I'm offering free um, this month through my blog. And what it is, is it's... 30 oh, actually I said 30 and I gave you a bonus day it's 31 days of, of a Bible reading challenge or plan and what it is is each day there is like one verse or mostly one verses but every once in a while there's two verses and sometimes um, maybe th sometimes three and there may be there may be a couple that are more and it's all about prayer each one of them and like for instance um, you can spend five minutes doing it or if you have more time because your children are grown or you don't work you might want to um, spend a half an hour and um, that's you know what I did some days this week and other days I didn't have quite as much time so what you can do is you can look up the verses in Bible Hub and you can get other verses that are similar or um, you can search out what the word like today mine was about seeking the Lord's God's face and seeking God and I, I just spent a lot of time and collected a lot of ideas and thoughts and verses on that and it was actually the one I did yesterday and that's why I'm saying that this is a good thing to do for the whole summer because you may not have uh, as much time in the summer even though you think you do because kids are home from school grandkids are home if you have grandkids if you have littles suddenly you're busier than you are during the year you or you think you have more time and somehow the time just disappears because for some reason we are just like um, busier than usual the time or relaxed and it just fills up the time so there is this page here and it's a journaling page and you can copy out as many as you need and in some of my things I have on my blog they're already created for you and when you print it you download it it just um, you'll print out what you need but you'll have to print this as you go and that's because I'm giving it away for free and at this point anyway and what it has, it has um, a journaling, a scripture journaling. And I write out the Bible verse for that day, digging deeper. And that's where I dig deeper in the things that I find as I study out the verse or cross-reference it. I might write them down in here. 
and then this is a personal application and what God is showing you through the um, through what you're doing learning that day and here's a prayer I love that part it's a prayer to God and if you run out of space because I print I, you have this whole blank page I always print these things uh, one-sided and I never figured out two-sided because I often use the back side anyway and here and remember this is all in color so if you have a printer this is beautiful in color and this is um, first Chronicles 16 11 it says seek the Lord and his strength seek his presence continually and that's what this is all about seeking God's presence and you can frame that in a frame and put it on your wall if you have the colored version I put mine on my refrigerator and I just love that and now I'm gonna move into what I saved this is just um, a quick little look at this little Bible this is a New King James version it's put out by Holman and you see it's as my hand is like just about bigger than it it fits in my purse and it just it's like a pocket version and it's too small to draw in it to, for me anyway because I don't draw over the words sometimes I shade over them but I always have to be able to read the words and um, I might mini journal mini um, do a mini version of creative journaling where I might do little little tiny pictures in the in the line but basically this is what I'm doing and I'm gonna show you you see I wrote out some Bible verses that has to do with um, created me a new heart that verse from um, Psalms and uh, therefore if any man be new in Christ a butterfly it comes from something ugly like a caterpillar I don't think is being too beautiful some of them around here can be but I, I still basically you know and then they go into the cocoon and come out as this beautiful butterfly and that is what I want God to see me as a new creature I want to be a new creature and the only way I can do that is to turn turn to totally around and to walk with Christ and to have him allow him to transform my life and here is the page where I put that my name in it there's another Bible verse you're probably seeing this backwards it's Isaiah 43 19 Behold, I am about to do something new. Even now it is coming. Do, do you not see it? Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Isaiah 43, 19. This is all about becoming new. And here you go. That's on the title page. And some of these are stickers and some of them are from cards. And then here is a verse that I, I put. Um, Seek the Lord and his strength seek seek his face continually <laughs> I don't have my glasses on and this is from a card or something uh, maybe it's a invite something and I have have plenty of um, wedding invitations and things like that so I have that on that page I made it as a tip in it's very strong and all I did was put a glue stick I put it on a piece of scratch paper and ran the glue stick on the edge and stuck it in there and then put actually a piece of plastic um, paper here that I got from my stickers stuck it in there in case any glue came on it and put something on top of it to kind of seal it and then on the other side was blank and I wrote things that I looked up when I looked when I was um, researching about um, seeking God's face and a different the references that I looked up I looked them up in this Bible and underlined them and that's what I've done to start off using this Bible my little um, tiny little Bible and what I'm doing is um, when I fly this summer or travel by car and we need to take less of what we own I'm bringing this Bible because I always have to have a real Bible with me because reading it um, on a device is is helpful and good sometimes but it doesn't cut it in my estimation and this is large print but you have to consider it's large print considering the Bible is small and the size paper they had to use and it works with my eyes my eyes aren't too bad so that works but with yours maybe you need a bigger bigger Bible so get your coffee and if you missed anything rewind this and I want you to comment below 
and tell me where you're from and or what resonated to you the most from listening to this. So, so thanks for joining me and have a wonderfully blessed day.